Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So in the previous video, we saw that how you can get started with your research project and you can have a publication. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you like how to read a research paper. Okay, so it's very, very important. I mean, it's one of the most important thing that you do. Okay, and uh, the reason is that reading research paper can take a lot of time if you want to analyze or understand it, like how, it works then it can take a lot of time like on an average if i say one single research paper can take a week to understand okay that's my personal experience but yeah let's see so the points that i'm gonna tell you are totally based on my own experience uh, while uh, you know working on uh, six research projects i'm having six, pu six publications so these are my own uh, personal experience and i would show you live examples of my four research papers which were published in uh, you know uh, journals and uh, uh, one in a conference so i'll show you my personal papers and i'll i'll explain you how you can read them so let's get started let's say you have downloaded the papers on that topic okay the papers can range from let's say 30 or 40 papers or maybe 60 70 papers right so if you have those many papers lined up you want to see what they have done you can't go through each and every paper in detail because uh, it can be a lot of time consuming and you might end up three or four months spending time on that only so what we have to do is you just have to go through the abstract of that paper abstract is a short description that explains the whole paper what was the result that they got what are they doing in the paper so all the things are uh, written in abstract so this is one of my first uh, th so this is my first research publication i was uh, through which i got started so i wanted to uh, explain you the process through this paper so the first thing that you have to do is you have to read the abstract okay so abstract is the short description of the whole paper it includes the uh, methodology a bit description about uh, what they are doing in the paper and what what are the results that they got some description might be there related to the data set that they are using so you can go through the abstract that is the first thing now the second thing that we have to do is ignore everything ignore everything and come down to the last thing where you might have the conclusion so you have to read the conclusion it shows that what are the results that they got right uh, how they are concluding the paper so you have to read the conclusion by this you would get a fair idea if this is something that you want to do and if you get an answer yes from yourself then go ahead and read this paper now reading this paper then you can start from beginning like introduction and all okay then you can go through it so the first thing that you have to do is you have to start with the abstract then read the conclusion at the last and then decide if you want to further go deeper into that paper now i am giving you an overview of uh, what is there in a research paper so you have this abstract okay and this abstract tells you basics about the research paper what are the results what was your aim uh, what are your conclusions and all okay uh, then you have some keywords so these keywords are very important why they are important because they are used as basis on which uh, search results are carried on so let's say if this paper is published in some journal and there someone searches like uh, something related to diabetes then this paper will come up okay so these keywords are actually used for matching there apart from that uh, many researchers and all they use type certain keywords to get some research papers so you want that your research paper should be available if someone uh, types those keywords so you can add these those keywords here so the important uh, words in your uh, research paper you can add it in the keywords that is totally fine okay now the first thing after abstract and keywords is the introduction so this would be an introduction of the thing that you are going to do in 
right further so consider in, in introduction as a plot that you are giving before you come to the methodology and results of your uh, finding okay so this is the introduction then is the methodology here you have to explain what all you did from where you get the data uh, how you did the analysis and all so everything should be present in methodology okay but you don't have to uh, include the results here okay we have a separate section here here you just have to describe uh, the method that you followed that's it you can write the models like let's say if you are doing machine learning you can write the models that you use the methodology you have results so here you have to tell like uh, on the basis of the methodology that you uh, adopted what are the results that you got so you can write your results here you can explain it in the form of a table maybe or some graphs you can do some comparisons with your results right so everything can be done here then after results we have discussion now this result and discussion can be combined together also that's also fine but you have to basically go through the guidelines of journals so each journal has its own guidelines and procedures so that's okay like if they allow it to do it uh, in a one single uh, paragraph together but uh, here it's written it's done individually so results are there and then discussions are there uh, so in discussion you actually write about uh, the importance of the results that you got so it's it's like uh, you got the results now how that result matters or why it is important you explain it through this you have a discussion on that result then strengths and limitations of a study so this is also uh, something which is journal specific if journal ask for strengths and limitations of the study then you can include it otherwise you can ignore this part so uh, here you basically write uh, what were the limitations that you faced while working on it uh, so consider it as a part which can be improved right or what are the hurdles that you had right strengths are the strong points of your research okay so you can include it here then conclusion is something which we already discussed before financial support and sponsorship this is also journal specific you can write it here otherwise there is a declaration formed separately also but they have included it in the paper so it's there it's of interest so this is a whole independent topic but uh, usually this is uh, the the conflict of interest means that when you are working for some let's say private organization or there is some money involved uh, you know some interest are there then you have to declare here that are there any conflicts like you are you know going towards something else and there is some organization that is supporting you and uh, that private they want something else like you know some some sort of uh, conflicts you can conflicts of interest you can write it here but usually uh, uh, it's it doesn't happen but in case it happens you can explore this separately because it's a whole uh, new topic then references now here comes the important part you have to cite you have to cite some papers uh, when you are you know writing your research paper so for example uh, you are writing a research paper here and you are saying something right then you have to prove that for example uh, here we are saying something and we have written 1 comma 2 like these this is taken from references 1 comma 2 so it means that uh, you are like saying something for uh, so for example if i say that uh, uh, usa has 5 million covid 19 vaccines delivered then i can refer a news that i read it there okay so these are the references whatever you state okay you have to tell uh, so if it's a generic thing that's okay but if it's something that is taken from somewhere or maybe uh, you are using some results or something you can refer your paper or you can if you are building upon something that you can say that this paper has done this much and i am building on that so that's totally fine you can refer the papers and uh, all the references yeah. And all the references you have to include at the end so this was one paper now i'll go i'll quickly take you through the rest of the papers uh, which uh, would be very similar okay now i'll quickly take you through some more uh, papers so that you get an idea of uh, format of these uh, papers 
so the next step would be this uh, springer conference uh, where um, uh, my paper was published uh, downloaded it right so this is the downloaded copy the same things we'll quickly go through it you have the abstract you have the keywords you have the introduction right uh, so this is all the introduction then related work you write here like what is already done okay then we then comes the methodology like what process was followed here then in the methodology also so this is a bit interesting you have a sub part so this was methodology third and a sub part a so resnet this is the residual neural network that was used you describe the model then the second model is described here and finally the third okay and then we have the results and discussion so here results and discussion are combined together some graphs and finally the conclusion along with the references so here we have the conclusion and references okay let's now go to the next paper okay so here also we have the abstract keywords introduction literature review then third would be the methodology okay so all the networks and everything are defined and finally results and discussion so here also results and discussions are combined here conclusion and future scope are also uh, combined and then we have the references so this is uh, another paper now my most recent paper which i was working upon was related to covid 19 in which i not only used the machine learning models and all but i also integrated it in the form of a mobile app and i coded them from scratch and it was an end-to-end -end process where uh, in a real time you would get the results on mobile app on the basis of the machine learning algorithm so this is a journal where the abstract uh, is published okay but uh, this would be forthcoming article so the whole research paper would be published so right now i am not going to share the research paper but uh, the abstract and uh, keywords are published just explain everything you did and what are the results and all you can just write in the form of a normal english and that's it it's nothing special so anyone can get started with it so that was it for today's video if you have any queries you can ask it in the comments and i would be happy to answer them okay